A crushed school bus on the front line of an old land grievance inflamed anew. After a night of fire, a tense calm behind the barricades that have now spread to a connecting highway. Those here say the people of Six Nations back them. You know, my mom is the one that's pushing this along. You know, my, you know, my aunts, my, you know, people of the women of our community that uh, understand that connection to the land that we have. But from Ontario's premier and the local mayor today, condemnation. Hopefully we can uh, straighten out the bad apples. Uh, and there's only a small group. And as far as I'm concerned, it's putting a, a bad name uh, out there and it's unacceptable. I don't condone it uh, any more than the Premier does. I think you can see this is not peaceful. Absolutely. Words quickly dismissed. For Doug Ford and uh, Mayor Hewitt to come out with their ignorant statements that are doing nothing but inflaming the situation. In the 18th century, the British granted land to Six Nations, the Haldeman Tract, 10 kilometers on each side of the Grand River. Today it retains just 5%. What kind of jerk would I be to my granddaughter or my great-granddaughter to tell her one day why I didn't fight for the land? Because I was scared. An Ontario judge granted a permanent injunction to the developer Thursday. It's up to the OPP to clear out the camp. The road in front of the occupied property dug up Friday morning. Another line of defence. The Six Nations elected council supported the project. Today it acknowledged that decision upset some community members. It called on the federal and provincial governments to finally sit down and sort out these long-standing land grievances. Jorge Barrera, CBC News, Caledonia, Ontario.